year long journey, Young Turks has constantly highlighted innovative business ideas. And in February this year, we announced the first of its kind challenge on Indian television. Bring you the Startup India Funding Challenge. Partnering with the Stan Fisher Angel Network, the challenge also saw the finalists campaigning for votes in our social media campaign powered by Udigma, roping in the strength of our over 38,000 strong Young Turks community to be part of the process. Hello and welcome to this very special episode of Young Turks. I'm Shivreen Ban. In a month of launching the Startup India Funding Challenge in February this year, the Stern Fisher Angel Network had received over 400 applications from startups all over the country. After an exhaustive screening procedure, 53 startups were shortlisted for icebreakers and mentoring sessions with some of India's leading VCs and angel investors. Today, we bring you 11 ventures who emerged top contenders for the title of the Startup India Company of the Year 2013. Without further ado, let's take you straight to all the action from the grand finale of the Startup India Funding Challenge 2013 from the IIT Delhi campus. The participants are game, the audience is set, the jury is about to begin the match. The team of five gets to pick who deserves to be the Startup India Company of the Year 2013. Meet Ashish Thavan, Senior Managing Director at Private Equity Major Chris Capital and CEO of Central Square Foundation, a not-for-profit working in the education sector. K. Shri Krishna, Executive Director, National Entrepreneurial Network. Vishal Mehta, Co-Founder and Partner, Look Capital. Vikram Junjunwala, Director, Digital Markets Asia. And Rohit Prasad, Faculty Member at the Management Development Institute, Gurgaon, and the author of Startup Sutra. I'm going to call up our first uh, social enterprise for the evening, Amber Shivasta from Rignano Systems. Rignano Systems manufactures and distributes instant diagnostic medical devices. Amber Srivastava's venture has developed patent pending technology which provides a handy and convenient tool for measuring hemoglobin levels in the blood at the point of care itself. When we go to a doctor, we get a prescription of medicines and the prescriptions for tests. Then we go to a path lab, get the tests done, get back to the doctor the next day. So what if we could have those path lab machines sitting at doctor's clinic? That's possible. How? Through technology. And that is how we are solving it. So, so far we have been we have developed just one product. It's a small port portable uh, uh, hemoglobin meter. You have a meter, you place a single strip, disposable strip, drop a single drop of blood and you're done within a minute's time. First to second year revenue target is within 10 crores. That should be minimum, uh, that should be our minimum goal. Is your model really the Gillette model where you make yes. money largely of the Absolutely. strips? Absolutely. So where will you price that? And what is unique about the device? Our strips will not get replaced by other, any other fake strip. That's one. Even before Chinese or anyone, any copier comes in, we will have our CE, FDA, CLIA, all regulatory barriers done. Quartry Insurance Group is an e-commerce based model for sales of insurance products through individual and group channels. The progress that we made in our business so far is that our direct channel BemaDirect.com is a live and selling website. We connect live to 25 insurance companies. We are retailing all the online term plans which are available in the country from about 10 plus insurance companies. More are in the offing. So the foundation has been addressed. Uh, what do we do from here onwards? Uh, we need to continue to grow our channels uh, to infuse more funds uh, in sales and marketing of this business. The way we will make money is that unlike the pure play online web aggregator lead generator type of businesses, we are trying to build a book of business which will enable us to cross sell, upsell, own the customer through some uh, you know, user experience via our website, via, via our service portal BMI Assist as well as via our contact center. So thank you Atul for that. I'm going to call up uh, Arpita Ganesh from Buttercup's Clothing next. Arpita Ganesh's Buttercup Clothing is India's first e-boutique for premium lingerie. The venture goes beyond this retailing to offer sizing, fitting and lingerie consultation as well. 90% of women don't even know that they're wearing a wrong size. Forget understanding why, you know, why they're uncomfortable with their bras. Buying experience. We had two options. We had one which was our hosiery stores next door where we would go and you know the salesman behind the counter would decide what size we would wear and hand us one little box. Or we had the option of going to our 
large format stores like Shopper Stop and Lifestyle where the sales lady would just help us find, give us whatever size we wanted. Website is very, very interactive. Every time you ask a question, we answer your question. You have to measure yourself before you can purchase anything. Once people buy what we have, they keep coming back. That is, I think, our biggest strength because once you wear a right bra, you can never go back to wearing a bad one. So one of the things you didn't talk about but I saw elsewhere was the price points you're targeting are fully on the high side. Um, so we're actually, uh, we're in the premium segment, we're not in the super premium segment. Okay. So the price points in the presentation that you have seen, they're about 1,500 is what we pointed out there. That is the highest price point that we'll have. That's one way to get more social impact. More women are happy, more social impact. Absolutely. <laughs>